You'd think that the higher a player's overall on FIFA, the harder it should be for their overall to grow again. It's a simple assumption to make. In fact, it makes total sense that going from 89 overall to 90 overall should be harder than going from 45 to 46 overall. Today, we'll be testing to see if this is the case and also revealing a few more weird things about how potential works on FIFA. It's important for you to know these things if you want your players to grow faster. Why should you put some effort or training sessions into a 45 rated youngster when you could actually just spend the same effort and training sessions on an 85 rated superstar and they'll grow just as fast? I've set up an experiment in FIFA 23 to find out once and for all if having a high overall rating makes your players grow slower or faster than having a low overall rating. So, as a FIFA scientist, how can we actually set up a fair test here? Well, I've created the team on screen right now, with 5 players at 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90 overall, with a goalkeeper, a defender, 2 midfielders and a striker at every single rating. Because I'm too lazy to do the training sessions myself, I'll be using FIFA's PC mods to give every single training session the highest A rating, instead of me having to do them all at the start of each season. Throughout this video, we'll be comparing exactly how fast the players grow at each overall rating. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten what we found out in a couple of videos ago, where player form is basically the only thing that makes a player grow. So we'll also be constantly setting form to the highest possible value every month for every single player. Finally, every player will also be set to 99 potential. We don't want any of our players to hit their overall rating cap to make our data incorrect. We'll simulate this season 10 times, giving us 50 players worth of data, and we can see the difference in how they grow from that much information. So let's begin to answer the title of this video. Does overall rating actually affect how fast a player grows? So we're all set up. Let's simulate our first season. So we're now in the middle of November and you can see some of our older and better players have improved. But as we go lower and lower down this squad hub, you can see that the worst players, and they're usually younger, have basically all improved. This is the first time I've really thought about how age might be affecting these things. So towards the end of this video, we might redo this experiment, but with everyone set to the same age of say 19 years old. But first, let's have a look at what a full year of simulation of this information looks like. So you can see players like Kimmich, Oblak, Van Dijk, De Bruyne, they've all grown despite being really highly rated already. Kimmich has actually gone up plus three because we did set him to 90 before we started, but the other three, despite being about 30 years old, have all gone up by plus two. This is making me think that maybe age doesn't make a huge difference, but a really highly rated player can still improve a lot. If we go down into the 80 rated, you can see players have gone up by plus four, plus three, plus one, plus one. And then finally, our 35 year old centre back hasn't actually improved, but we weren't really expecting him to do that anyway. This makes me think that as soon as a player maybe hits about 32 years old, they don't really improve despite you giving them like basically an infinite amount of game time. Because as an 80 rated centre back, he was actually our second choice after Van Dijk. Going down further, as the players get lower ratings, they do get younger, and you can see players like Renier, plus four, Vivalba, plus three, uh, Curry here, plus five, who's the biggest grower of anyone. But before we go and do this experiment again with everyone set to being young, we can actually already see that basically every player will grow between plus three and plus five as long as they're under 30 years old, no matter what overall rating they have. This is about what I expected. It really should be tougher for Oblak to go plus two or plus three than maybe our 60 rated goalkeeper who went plus three as well. Before we come to any conclusions, let's simulate a full season with everyone set to being 19 years old. So now we're all ready again to run another season and we'll get back at the end of this season and start to draw some conclusions and see if actually maybe your 90 rated player is actually going to grow at the exact same rate as your 50 rated player. Let's have a look. So we're back in November yet again. Let's have a look and see how our players have developed. And if we have a look here, you can see we've got two points in the 90 rated. Our 80s have all gone up by at least one, which is pretty interesting, making me think maybe it is a little bit harder to get to 91 than it is to get to 81. The 70s have all gone up by one or two points as well. The 60s all up by at least one and the 50s all up by at least one. So it looks like there is maybe a slightly tougher time getting from 90 to 91 for a 20 year old than it is to get from 80 to 81 or 70 to 71. 
It's looking like EA might have actually done something right in career mode, but we're only going to find out if we do this simulation 10 times all the way to July. So let's have a look. So back into FIFA we come and we're now in July of the 10th simulation we have done. And it looks like this information basically corresponds with exactly what's happened in the other 10 simulations. So 90 rated players all grew by about plus two to three on average, which is, you know, a fairly decent improvement. My 80 rated players also grew by about two to three on average, but if you do play in every single game, you can expect to get up to a four or a five, which we're seeing here with the Rune and M Nesri. So again, as expected, 70 rated players who play a lot again, improved by two to three points. Up to a four if they're playing well and playing in a lot of games, which it looks like Renier and Vivalba have been doing. 60 rated players have, you guessed it, grow by about two to three on average. This is the same as 90 rated, 80 rated and 70 rated players. So it doesn't look like there is any kind of curve that makes it more difficult to actually improve. Finally, the 50 rated players, as you can see here, all grew between two and three ratings. So exactly the same as every other rating we've tested in today's video. This makes me think, EA hasn't actually set up any kind of difficulty curve and it is the exact same difficulty of getting a player from 92 to 93 or in Oblak's case 89 to 93 as it is to get someone like Ricky Shabong from 50 to 52. It's the exact same difficulty, it doesn't matter the rating they start as, it doesn't matter their potential, their age, it just matters if you're playing games you'll get maybe plus one or plus two compared to the average but if they're playing all the same amount of games overall rating absolutely has no impact on how fast your player will develop. It's kind of sad to say it that way because that does feel a little bit broken. I was expecting it to be at least slightly more difficult to go up in the 90s, but it doesn't seem like that is the case. So let's have some final thoughts about developing players on FIFA career mode, maybe some little things you might not know. Well, there is technically an experience multiplier you can apply to players behind the scenes. I don't know if this is something that should be given to younger players or lower rated players, because it doesn't seem like it's actually used beyond cheat engine where you can give it to players to improve them faster. Maybe there could be an experience multiplier where your players do develop faster when they're under 50 rated or under 60 rated. Just make it maybe a curve so players develop slightly faster as they get slightly worse. It could be an interesting way of making career mode a little bit more realistic because let's be honest, if someone like Rico Lewis did a full year of training with Pep Guardiola, he's gonna improve by more overall and someone like Kyle Walker doing the exact same thing, the exact same position, the same manager training facilities. Younger players, lower overall players should improve faster than higher overall players, older players. And that doesn't really seem to be the case until you hit maybe 33 years old. So in conclusion, it doesn't really matter what overall your player is. If you train them, they will grow at the same exact speed. Hopefully you learned something about player development or youth players or youth academy on FIFA career mode today. Like the video if you want to see more experiments like this or suggest your own things that you want me to check in the comments below. On screen right now is a playlist and a video I think you'll really enjoy. So check one of those out right now. Thanks for watching. Cheers and goodbye.